Hi, welcome back. We just went over the skills and qualifications together in the previous video. Let's get started on to the next. For education and experience, be sure to include your intended major and your anticipated graduation year. You can add honors credentials in this space too, or down in the leadership section. If you have already graduated, on that line put for example, graduated May 2013. This is optional. If you have other colleges under your belt, you may put it on the second page. Only include this if it is related to the job. When incorporating coursework, always use the most recent first. In your experience section, it may contain both paid and unpaid experience. On a job application form, you will probably need to separate, but your resume is a summary of what experience you will bring to a specific job, no matter where or how you put it. You can include job, internship, and volunteer experience, as well as job shadows you have completed. Don't be afraid if your resume goes over more than one page. If this does happen, Put your name in something like page two on the second page. Make sure that the first page has most of the relevant information on it. Try to limit the bullets to no more than three. It isn't necessary to list every job you've had. Keep it to only the relevant experience. In the next video, we'll go over leadership roles and other experiences along with references. Please look forward to it.